Hello, everyone. Friend request. That's weird. Oh, hey, I wonder what this game is. Well, we'll be speaking in English, whatever it is. English voices. Um... You can't change your appearance at all later. I mean, I'm gonna go with one of these two. Oh, God. Correct eye color or more or less correct hair color? <laughs> well, we're playing Pokemon Snap. You can see that now. Um, it is currently... What time is it? Like 12.08, I think it is. Um... This is going to be the hardest choice in the game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm playing this as soon as I can because I want to get this episode up as fast as I can. Um, also because I've been waiting years to play this game. Not as long as other people, but you know. You know what? Eh, just screw it. We'll go basic bitch. Yeah, we'll do Blaze. I'm glad it automatically picks the uh, <laughs> your username. Um... I almost, this is my main account, I almost used the uh, other account that me and Jack have been using for games, uh, <laughs> which is under the name Phoenix Ass. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Starly, Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences. New... Pokemon Snap. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this looks so pretty. Stoutland! Ah! Oh, I've got voice acting already. I can't. I can't voice act for it. Oh, I can! Great! Hi there! Glad you made it! Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. I came up with that acronym first and then, uh, you know, did the actual wording later. My name is Mirror. Mirror B? Are you related to him by chance? I'm researching Pokemon on their natural environment here on Florio Island. Yeah. Yeah, and that's not all. The professor's gonna study every single island there is here in the Lentil region. <laughs> no one's ever done an ecological survey like survey, an ecological survey like this before. It's gonna be amazing. Huh? No one? Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? <laughs> Oops. Good point. You've heard the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? But. But even counting him, professor, your survey is gonna be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. Jeez. Well, they timed it perfectly. School, I think, is just ending around this time. Like, in real life as I'm recording this. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. And I appreciate the help. Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab and get settled? Right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. Here we are in the lab now. <laughs> Thank goodness for teleportation. Alright, allow me to explain. The Lentil region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Why am I doing a weird accent? Where am I from? Photographing these Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. And that's exactly what you're here to do. By the way. At night, you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. All right. And now, without further ado, here's your research camera. <laughs> I've got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team, too. Communication cameras. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Yep. It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here. So take good care of it. Oh, God. What do you think? 
Awesome, right? Why didn't they just have it be what do you think? <laughs> professor invented it! Professor! Can I explain how to use it, Professor? Anyway. Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yeah? Alright, come on, let's go outside! Why am I not doing her voice actually? The tutorials are based on the default button layouts. Let's see. Let's see. Aha, perfect ah. timing. Try getting a shot of that Pokemon. You can press the A button to take a photo. All right. Yes, he's going. Now why don't you try moving the camera to line up your shot? See that circle in the center of your viewfinder? Yes. That's called the pointer. If you use the left stick to move the pointer around, the camera will move to follow it. All right, got it. Give it a try. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, come on. You can point the camera up and down, and even spin all the way around, left or right. Okay, I... Do I need to do that? You can use motion controls to aim your camera, too. I don't want to use motion controls. Oh, look! I mean, I like motion controls control. normally, but... Try getting a shot of that pink. First, move the pointer so it's lined up with Pikachu. Move the... I did That better. You want your subject's whole body smack dab in the middle of the frame, looking big. Got it. Looks like you've already gotten the hang of using your camera. You're doing great. Oh, great. You can adjust your camera and motion controls from the settings menu. Now I can use the motion controls, probably. While you're out doing research. Got it. Hey, Professor, we've covered the face dance. Yes, we did. How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Anyway. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. First of all. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whichever shots you think are the best. God, why do you use the pointer instead of just having the thing... Why not just have it be, like, you... You go, and then if there's multiple things, you just go to the next thing. This game just came out, and I already think it's terrible. <laughs> Starting with photo number one. Pikachu! A new discovery. Oh, it's Pikachu! This is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. The first thing I do is rate each photo from one to four stars. Why one to four? Why not one to three? Or one to five? Why four? I came up with this system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in ordinary state get fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. Simple enough, right? Be clear, yeah, it's pose, yeah, new, 500 stars. Size, yeah, placement, yes. I've played this game before. I don't want to read everything. Oh, look, hard, looking good, hard to believe you're just a beginner. I added the word just there. <laughs> Vivalon. New. New. Next is Vivalon, a new addition to our research. Nice work. New, this isn't bad at all. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in frame. Wait, remember getting the whole Pokemon in frame, looking nice and okay, looking nice and big is the key to good size score. I keep hitting A and it's not moving forward. How was it? What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That will be a great milestone to work toward. All right. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your adventure. Okay. I, I just realized I. I came up with a special intro just for me, or just for the channel, I guess. That would be a better way to say it. And I forgot to say it at the beginning. I'll do it next time. Which also, uh, this is going up as soon as fucking possible. 
Um, and I'm going to try to post two episodes uh, today, I guess, which is Friday. That should about do it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your photo... Uh, I, photography. Photography expedition. By the way. It's called the Neo One. <laughs> it's the best. It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. So Pokemon, the Pokemon world just has teleportation now. Why do we walk? I finally put the finishing touches on it not long ago with a little help from someone I know. You see, it makes use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the lentil region. Jeez. Come on, Professor, the details can wait. Fair enough, let's get you moving. Climb on in and use the cam- and, wait, and touch your camera to the console. Don't tell me what to do. What console? It's just a circle! Set your camera to the circle. Do it! I know I do. Don't tell me what to do! Saving to the Nintendo Switch system. Grookey's female. I didn't think they had gender differences. This anything? No. Anything in the water? A better picture of Vivalon. Bidoof! I love Bidoof. Oh uh, no, he's running away. Bidoof, I don't want. I don't want your ass. Alright. Come on, pal. There we go. Worm pull. We didn't miss anything on this side. Yeah, this is very near slow. What the? Who was that? What did I miss? I don't even know what that was. Hell? Crystal, crystal bloom. I don't know that Pokemon. Swat up. Cute little Talos. Flying Swana. Damn it. Not a better shot of Goofy. For a split second, I thought that Swan was a Dragonair.
symbol marks the spot where you'll teleport back to camp. I just realized I've been quiet this whole time. Basically, I the end of the not this whole time, but like I need to talk more. I picked the worst game to do commentary for. <laughs> this is all just I'm, I'm, I'm doing method acting. I gotta I gotta be in the moment. Foot photograph. Anyway, just like before photos. Okay, sorry for not talking. Um. Anyway, do you want to hear a really sad story for me? <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm in a voice acting class, which I think I probably, yeah, I, I definitely have mentioned before. Um, and uh, today was the one day, like in a long, long while, and I have not been able to uh, make it to the class. Um, and, you know, I already felt really bad about it, but um, I was like, eh, you know, it's like, it's no big thing. Like, they probably didn't do anything major. Uh, we had a special guest in that class today. Uh, Amy Jo Johnson, the original Pink Power Ranger. I'm a huge fan of Power Rangers, and no one thought to tell me that this was going on. What the hell? <sighs> Life sucks sometimes, but hey. All right. Could have been worse. Oh, it's Vivalon. It takes my breath away. Nice work. Nice work. Keep it up. Yay! New record. Nice and big. Yes. New photo deck. Dodrio. New. We've got Dodrio. A new addition to our research. Nice work. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. A new discovery. Next is Grookey, a new addition to our research. Nice what's, work. what's with the exclamation point? You didn't tell me. Mirror, what's the exclamation point? Buffalant, another new exclamation discovery. point. New nice one for one. your photo decks. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. That's a two star, what? Badoof! Or Bidoof! Bye Doof! Wormple! Yeah, we got Wormple, a new one for your photo decks. Pokedex, I don't. Yeah, photo decks. Po big Pokemon is the Saki score. Next is Florges, a new addition to our research. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. You don't so this knows something you don't see every day. You did wonderfully. What I missed the old one where he's like, what what it's doing? I mean the Pokemon photo is a nice touch. Taylo! A new discovery. Next we got Taylo! Nice work. Do, 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 da. Only a one star. Next to Swana, the new one for your Pokedex. Photo Dex. Far. Do, 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 do. One star. Pikachu. New. Let's beat you a new one for your Photo Dex. And. Nothing. Magic Corp. A new discovery. I think that exclamation point probably means that we can interact with them later on. So, like, the Magikarp will probably be able to evolve. I know the Pichu and Grookey, like, hang out. Um... What else? Right now, the Yusuf Konfei doing shit! A new discovery. Konf Konfei! Nice work. There's only one star, it's doing a wave! It's, and it is looking right at the camera! It's doing a wave and it's waving at me! You're blind! You're just like Professor Oak! Listen, let me tell you about research levels. Research level on your on a course tells me how much you've made progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see more Pokemon behave in ways you hadn't seen before. Keep raising your research level to observe all types of Pokemon behaviors. That means getting photographs of them in every category, from one star to four stars. 
So in short, fill up that photo deck, so get, keep that in mind, and you'll be on the right track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. Park Day Level. Look at that, you've hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes no matter how small. Box. Photo Program Newbie. Ha <laughs> ha! Smack dab in the middle, got a score of 1,000 points or more in placement category. Together with friends, got a score of 500 points or more in other Pokemon category during evaluation. Save photos to album. Okay, um, I like his Dodrio shot. Save. Um, this is probably going to be important later, so. Did I not give him a Swanna? Or do I just not remember the Swanna? Oh, wait, this is the Swanna. Yeah, duh. Um. I'll save this floor just since it is a three star. I like it. Alright. Return to camp. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this video a little bit longer than normal. Uh, I know my videos are normally 20 to 30 minutes, and this is already at least 20 minutes. Um, but, you know. I'm gonna try to make this longer because. I'm gonna be honest, uh, honest, uh, this is a brand new game that people have been looking forward to for years. I wanna get as much content as I can in here. <laughs> Cause it'll probably help grow my channel, I guess. Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? Not yet, but soon, after a little more practice. Also. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks at any time. <laughs> I'll explain more about that when we step back to the lab. Well, we're gonna be keeping longer. Go have a good time and snap some photos. Alright. Well, let's go do some more photo shooting duties. Are you headed out on another expedition already? Wow. You told me to! What are the things you can do with your research camera? You can run a scan! Ooh! We'll give you all the details about your surroundings. It tells you about nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Hey, so Professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. So. Basically, anything that makes the system go, check this out! Yeah. Well, I guess that's all the detail we're gonna get. Yep. You'll get the hang of it once you try it, Rita. No. You'll get the hang of it once you try it. Rita, would you mind demonstrating? Yeah. Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. Story is bit... Okay. I don't need to see this every time. All you gotta do is press the X button. Shut up. Yeah, it's Pikachu. Did you also notice that question mark? Yeah. That tells you there's something different. First, move. Did you see the pointer change? That's your cue to press and hold the X. Hold X, button. analyze whatever's there. Okay, give it a try. There, now you can use your results. The Pokemon friend came up with Neo 1. Well, pretty easy, right? When this icon pops up at the bottom of your screen, there's something nearby to check out. Okay, I assume that. Like glow bloom, when you see that, crystal flower, it. probably with something to do with it. One more cool thing. Some Pokemon will react to the sound and electrical signal from the scan. If it gets their attention, that's your chance to snap a photo. The professor calls it an accidental stay cheese feature. Anyway, that ought to cover everything. Okay. That's good to know. Professor. Professor, the explanation's all done. Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan, it'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. Okay, let me go do research. First of all, here. Well, we gotta go to the park. I appear! Bufalon. No, damn it.
Oh, you can go faster by using the cursor and the uh, thing. That's good to know. Emolga! Yep. No! Where'd you go? Missed the Emolga shot. I had and I forgot which button did the thing. Shot, releasing out the two. Nope. I, pre I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I'm feeling at some point that magic herb's gonna disappear and be Gyarados instead. And be extremely upset that we did not help it. Quiet there too. I don't think as quiet though. Um, we do another two, maybe three more rounds through. Now, just to do so, Buffalant. I think this image will get a better thing. Ducklet, new image. This one is apparently already two star. If I'd gotten the wave, it would have been so much better. Comfey. Hoodoo, just to get it in there. Tangrowth, boom. You all want to try to get anything better than the other one? Maybe this one could be a little bit better. Show the professor. I've, I'll show him all I want, except I, honestly the Beedoof probably would have been better. Buffalon! New! Better Buffalon! And worse Buffalon! Nice work. Is he Tooth and Charmer? Broke my new record. Keep the new one. Ducklet. New. Discovered. This is a ducklet. A new addition to our research. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah, yeah. Ducklet. Swana. Everything is better except for two things. 
Or the new one. Tangro! A new discovery! A new discovery! Good work! Hoot hoot! It's a foot! Hoot hoot foot! This is probably going to take me a little bit of extra time to edit because once it gets past like 25 minutes, uh, my capture card like cuts it in half for some reason. Nice work. So it might be a little bit harder to edit, uh, but it'll be fine. Oh great, I got a one star as opposed to a three star. <laughs> or a two star. 69! Oh. variance is the ingredient, main ingredient of research. Am I gonna get food to feed them? By the way, thanks to the program, I have some to report. I'll fill you in once you're, all your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Eh, yeah, I'm good. Why is it the cursor and not just boxes? You select the boxes. I go up and you go, you're, you start at the top box, you press down twice, and then you're in the bottom box. Alright, anyway. Hello. I don't know. Your photography seems to be going well. Anyway. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to Florida Nature Park. Here's the thing. Hopefully you'll get to see one of the lentils' greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. Speaking of... You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Yes, I am, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step towards my ultimate goal, finding the special Pokémon spoken of in the legends of Lentil. You mean the Illumina Pokémon? I thought they were made up. No. No, they're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travelogue, haven't you? What is that? What? You can barely tell what's in those photos, and they're ancient anyway. Literally a hundred years old. All right, now. We can discuss that later. Right. No, that's not up for discussion. That's a fact. What? All right. Yeah, let's go to Florio Nature Park at night. Technically, it's been night this whole time for me. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen. Scorbunny! No! Don't run away from me, friends! Watch for differences in their behavior. Are able to get a nice photo of a pincer? I've been quiet and I apologize. <gasps> My boys! Or girls in this case. Why are all the Pokemon just one gender? That's odd. Just wanna why? Get back here. There's an Altotera. I guess I spoke too soon. <gasps> Ooh. 
This moved a little faster. Combi! Where's the thing to scan? There it is. Crystal Bloom. In here. I know there was something there. I heard rustlies. I heard them. We've got a lot to discuss, but first let's get your photos evaluated. Alright. Look at my pictures, bitch. This one's sassy. Now sh Now show me fancy. Now show me sleepy. Now show me better. Now show me tangro. Show me Murkrow. I'll do the better one first. Caterpie, do that one. Pinsor. Uh, let's let's do the one of him popping out of the ground. I think that would be much better. Um, like I like this one. Because it shows he's got, he's got a very calm nurture side. Uh, let's get this glowy swana as bad a photo as it is. Pidgeot. Pichu. Gurukei. Pitoot. Kombe. Excuse me. I thought that would add somehow. Show the professor. Press evaluation part night. Time to check these photos. Score bunny. Sassy discovery. Score bunny. Woo! And we got 4,000 points. Buffalo. Nice work. The sleepy boy. Do, do, do. New record. Give him the sleepies. Bidoo! Looks like it's been bopped by something. Uh, next time for one is looking carefully the recurrent movement. I could not read. Did I not give a beedoo before? Okay, I did give a beedoo before. There's no other two star beedoo. Okay. Tangro with one star. That's new. You took a worse picture than you did before. That's odd. Murkrow with three star. Next is Murkrow, a new addition to our research. It looks like beha this behavior is worth studying. Nice going, this isn't a bad shot at all. I, I wish you'd said you were close. You were close. Caterpie! Nice work. Nice work. You took an average photo. Pincer. New. new. This is Pincer, a new one for your photo deck. I see, what fascinating behavior. This is great timing. Like, great timing, this is well taken, is what he said. I can't read. Nurturey boy, the Axis Torterra, the new one for you. Great timing. Looks like a fast asleep. Great timing. This is well taken. Do do do. For thousand points. Woo! Mm. Suck my dick. We next we've got a Swana. It's a three star photo. That's new. I see it's a flight. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. It's also illuminated. Pidgeon! Ah, you get a Pidgeon, a new one for your photo decks. Yeah, I, okay, Pichu. Get yeah, better, Pichu. Less better, Pichu. Let's keep the old one, Grookey. Nice work. Better, Grookey. Not at all better, Grookey. 
It is a better Grookey. <laughs> Sleepy boy. Two star hoodoo. Combi. So many combi. So little time. All right. I think we've got time for maybe one more visit, and then I will end the episode. And um, yeah, level up. Look at that, you've hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes, no matter how small. <laughs> you win on your first night expedition. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. You'll be pleased to hear this. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. I don't know. Save, okay, I'm gonna save photos real quick. Um, I want, I do want the answer. Um, I like this photo, this Torterra. I want to save the score bunny. I want, I want this picture. And this one. Okay. We Gucci. Oh, you can just do that if you use the D-pad. Okay, that's better. Either that or they heard my complaints through the switch. Who are you people? Whoa. Oh, he's doing stuff already. He's already talking. Something incredible has happened. Really? Here, take a look at this. What if I don't wanna? Are there bar those are bars, right? Do are we getting are we getting better 5G there? We got near the field of flowers. I pick up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also, it seemed to be moving too, if only slightly. Would suggest that we've got here. What we got here is <laughs> an aluminum Pokemon. We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything special? I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where you, the reading is coming what? from. Oh, I want to go see two. You can watch through the monitor with right. me. Please head out as soon as you're ready. Like at night? I assume at night. Yeah, Lumina Nature Park. Oh, an Illumina spot. Okay. Oh, they've already showed this in the trailer, so I know exactly what it is. It's... Well, that's definitely where the reading was coming from. Yeah, it is. Do you see or hear anything? No. Yes, I do. Apparently. He nodded. Oh god, it's a Gigantamax zone. It's a Gigantamax zone. Yeah. That's exactly what I thought it would be. God, that's so pretty. Hello, friend. Meganium the Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture. Oh yeah. Pretty buddy. Oh my god. I love you. Why are you so pretty? Why can't I zoom out at all? I want to get a flight. My buddy's running. 
Look at him go. But look at the chonker. Big chungus. Running. Woo! We stopped. I probably... And off it goes. Yeah, it does. The energy meeting is gone too. Let's chat when you get back. Okay, Dad. Which you are not. Beam me up, Scotty. To space! We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Photo. It's, it's, it's the one photo. Wait. Did the phenomenon is shown there, though. No, I want to see more of the photos. It is very clearly shown in all of these photos. Um, well, let's pick the three star one, whichever one that is. Because that'll be harder to replicate. Unless I can't pick the three star one because the phenomenon isn't shown in it. Is that the case? Is that what we're doing here? Okay. Well, then let's get the chonker running. Alright. Illumina spot. Alright. Let's have a look. You forgot that point in your dialogue. A new discovery. It's Meganium and a new addition to our research. Nice work. It, it must be in hurry. Nice work. Keep it up. Yeah, I oh I picked a one star one instead of a two star one. Well, go fuck yourself, game. I got the chonker. He's running. He take a big steppy. Level one and until next level one. Cool. I made it to level two in the Illumina spot, which was literally. Again, I had, I, had not, I had to not take a picture to not level up. <laughs> Look at that, you've been a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for small changes no matter how small. <laughs> Best shot. Let's get a score of 5,000 or more points on photo evaluation. Nice pose. You have scored 1,000 or more points in the pose category during a photo evaluation. Gentle Wonder, you registered the Illumina Pokemon Meganium to your photo deck. You received the title Gentle Wonder. I filter gentle one. But by the way, now that we've got that Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in with the photo squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Photo. Okay. What do I want? I want to save this one. I want to save this one with like your common body. I want to save this good boy sniffing a flower. I want to save uh, this good boy saying goodbye. And I want to save the chonker running. Okay, we're good. Ugh. Oh god, 50 minutes. Okay, yeah, so... After this last bit of information, I think we're gonna end us off here with uh, my longest video. <laughs> um... Yes, you're back! That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? Wasn't it... Saying something? Rita. No, was it and was it saying something? He's there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Look who's talking. You're, we were practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in the Legends. Remind me what the Legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor? Didn't they supposedly save Lentil from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? Mm -hmm. So the story goes, yes. Also. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns and glow with unusual light. <laughs> Sounds like our new friend. Right? Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced that the events in those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region, and discovering the true history of this region could be the key to open up all our research. Oh. Hang on, 
Wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention, Professor? That's right, it's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. It's not! Ah, yes, go to bed. I have something important to tell you, but shut up. Morning. Good morning. Did you manage to get some sleep? No! Now, as Rita already told you, Here's the thing. I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an alumina poke. Huh? You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. But, but fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Really? <laughs> well, you know. Maybe. Jeez. For a scientist, you can... Wait. For a scientist, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. But... Still, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> I'll be way... I'll be way more fun with you along. Yes, you will. You certainly will. Right. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? Sure. Let's make it official with a team badge. Are we a team badge? Are we a rescue team? Are we are we a fucking rescue team? Is this mystery dungeon now? Is this a mystery dungeon game? Did they did, did they try to sneak it past me? It's like you were born to wear. <laughs> They're all not born, but programmed. Right. Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits. Not to rain on your parade, Rita, but I need to get a couple more things ready first. <laughs> Oh come on! Just a little bit longer, all right? I promise it'll be worth the wait. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. All right, well... Oh! Box! Sticker! Profile icon! All right, everyone, well... We got to the lentil region. We took pictures of our first Illumina Pokemon. Well, and second, because we had Swanna first. Uh, and we learned all about this new Pokemon Snap. Right now, I don't know if it is as good as the original, but we've only gone through one area. Technically two. Technically three, because we get day, night, and Illumina Spot. But anyway... Next time on Pokemon New Pokemon Snap, which will be later today, or maybe already if you've seen this video after I. Anyway, next time on New Pokemon Snap, we will be seeing what new shit the professor has to tell us and get some more badass photos of Pokemon. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.